Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. Okay. Uh, yes. I just... You should join my camp permanently, the two of you. 100%. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Yes! Yes, good. Good. Can I talk to you? Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Okay, so I think that this means that they are ours forever. I mean, friends forever. Best friends. Hi, honey. Wait, do we have... Let's make sure. Okay. Next time, Scratch rolls by. Hi, hi. Soldier. How you doing? Um, okay. So nothing here. Duh. Wait. For a second there, the way the light was hitting Halson, I didn't know if he had pants on. And I was a little confused. Oh my goodness. That was so funny. Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is strong enough to endure, but her path will be easier with our support. Agreed. Agreed. I'm glad we have Jahira traveling with us as well. Did you know her from before? Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. And see. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. I have good news. She's here right now, so you can always learn more from her at this one moment in time. Uh, you seem to admire her greatly. There is much to admire. Judging by the stories, I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence, and perhaps work to a common goal. Agreed. Agreed. How am I holding up in your estimation? Given the circumstances, you're faring as well as can be expected, I suppose. Uh, that that doesn't feel like a, a glowing uh, good job, but we're going to take it. How you doing, honey? You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. That's because you're the best. You're the best little uh, some that I, tell, I don't I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but there was a mod that made owlbear a summoning companion kind of like you can with Scratch and it was called Murder Loaf and um now, in my head, this is just murder loaf. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, right. I have two chests now. Good. Uh, I'm like literally right next to the camp. Do I need to do it this way? No. Can I open up that chest and then individually? I didn't want to do that. Send these items to camp? Y yes. Am I going to? N no, no, no. All right, we should send that to Shadowheart. Moonglaive. I kind of wonder what it'd be like to use that. To, I don't know. Well, what is this? Uh, spell say, oh. Can I give that to Shadowheart? Shadow heart, shadow heart. Okay. Oh, it's big. It has the symbol of the absolute on it, though. Like, some of the stuff I really, really, really like, but at the same time, then you get the, um, like the symbol for the absolute on it or something like that. And I'm like, mm, I don't really want us rolling around town, you know, going, hey, look at me. You know what I mean? Like, it's a little, it's a little awkward. So, you know. There's that. Um, let me see. The other thing, I realized that I don't. No, I did. G yes, I did give you the the crits one. I just want to make sure. Okay. So I've said hi to everybody here. I guess we'll go. Is it this? Oh no, I'm lost in my own camp now. Dun dun. 
Dun, dun, dun. Double check. It takes two seconds. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Yeah. Same. 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 Very glad. Very, very glad. Hey, Will. Well, man. Anything you... You must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. Really? He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. And Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Uh... Do you miss him? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Hmm, that's an interesting take on that. I'm listening. How you doing? Nope, okay. Just checking. Um, I feel like I've said hi. Wait, what? I cannot fast travel right now. Okay, so. Big save. Right before bed. Just in case. You never know. Never, ever, ever. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too were it not for the Astral Prism and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With his help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the Dead Three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Oh, man. <gasps> That's so good. Oh, I like this. Oh, I really do. I am... Let's see. I will free every one of this evil. I'll be so I want to be free of this parasite. I'll do what's necessary to make that happen. I'll succeed where the chosen will fail. I'll dom no, we're not we're, we're not into world domination at all. When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right. Yes. I'll free every one of this evil. I'll be the hero that say like I'll free every one of this evil if we just stopped there. Yeah, like we'll 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 do that. However, it's the I will be the hero that saves Baldur's Gate part that I'm like, Lilia doesn't necessarily want to be a hero. So when the moment comes, we'll do what feels right. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. <laughs> Lily? Lily? What's happening, honey? <gasps> oh my gosh, no! What? You're under attack. Help me. You're under it. Wait, you're under attack too? Oh goodness. Okay. Escape to the. So. All we're doing is escaping to the portal. Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. Okay. Jump. <laughs> Lily, jump. Lils. Okay. Where did I go? Okay. Okay. So is it just Lily and then everybody gets through? Okay. Okay, good to know for the future. It's just Lily that needs to make it through. What is this? Why does that look like Vlacketh? 
That orb's going to blow. And soon. I know. Under attack. Okay. Well. No, actually, this works out. This works out right here. Now. It's only one. Yes. Okay. Now. Can you just go and shove them? Good. It's not over. I know. Come to the skull. Um, um, oh no. Okay. When Shadow Heart gets here, Shadow Heart. No. Oh, no. No. I don't want you two to follow. I want you two to come with me. Can you, daughter? Hurry! I can't hold them back. Oh my alone. gosh, daughter! Oh my god, everybody's. <laughs> Why? Why is everybody like this right now? Oh my gosh, why? Why, why, why? Okay, heal her. Okay. Actually, when are you going to have another chance to do a short rest anyways, right? Okay. I need you now. Okay. This, we gotta go here. Oh, no. It's not over. Come to the skull. Okay. Who is that? What? Is what am I looking at? What the fuck? No! <gasps> Who am I rooting for right now? What team am I on? Before you do anything. I am your ally. Excuse you? We are in danger. Oh, shit. A mind flayer. Yeah, I'm saying the same the thing. The Yankee is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one. That's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Excuse Help me. Excuse me. I am. Um... Okay, okay. I can we have t time out? World's biggest time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, prove to me that you are who you say you are. Yeah, Lily, that's a good one. You saved a child from a viper back in the Druid's Grove. You saved the Asima Night Soul from her soul cage. You let me live last time you were here, though it brought Blackith's wrath upon you. 
I told you about my room in the Elsong Tavern. That night when you held me, I was vulnerable. You comforted me. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me. How do I help? The guard. Destroy the guard. They prevent me from subduing their master. Do it now. All right, all right, y'all. In for a penny kind of thing. Together, we can turn the tide. Okay. I hope these are hardy intellect of ours. Why is it that at least one companion always gets caught up there? Is what I'm noticing so far. Okay. Can you? You can do this. Okay, good. Good. Now... This. Yeah, good hit. Good hit. Okay. Now, these guys are coming in. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, Carlac. Okay, but we're not out of mind players yet. Or uh, intellect of hours. What was that? Okay. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. Did I? I didn't back her up to a ledge, right? No. Okay. <laughs> From this angle, it kind of looks like a ledge. So, I was, I was a little, I was a little concerned. Understandably so. Let's do. Okay. Lily, 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 Lily. What do I want? What do I want? That should kill them. And then let's do... Okay, one down. Yay. Okay, you're here. Okay. Hey, Shadowheart. Shadowheart, can I ask you a personal question? Y you wanna come join the fight? Crazy, right? I know, but I didn't I didn't know if you wanted to join us. It could be fun. Okay. Here come these three. Oh. 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 Okay, now they're stunned. Who is that? Just a dead githyanki. Oh no, Emperor! That's what it says your name is. He, he, he just shivering. I think he's cold. Maybe he, he cold out here. Okay, Karlak. Um, well, he's shivering. Maybe you could just do this. Okay. Now they are coming in. I don't know if the tat... How can you... How did you get Lily through... You know what? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. You. Here. Tormented. Yeah, concentration broken. Okay, Lils. Um, where are you? You're all the way up there. I can't deal with you right now. However, let's do a level three. Okay. Can you come down? Thank you. My goodness, was that so difficult? Apparently. All right, shadow heart, shadow heart. Can you hit them with that shadow heart? Thank you. Okay. What are you gonna do? He's still doing the shivers. He's still got a case of the shivers. I repeat, the emperor is dancing now with the case. <laughs> what is he doing? No, stop, please. Okay. Uh, I think that that was more along the lines of like interpretive dance. Maybe that was to scare his enemies. I mean, I'm terrified now. 
If I saw a mind player come interpretive dancing towards me, I'd definitely be afraid. All right. Thank you. That was too close. Don't look at me like that. No, I'm looking at I you like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. I know. I know. I know. <sighs> you did not. Lily, you did not. We might have known a little, but we did not suspect it. I ask again, who are you? And I'm going to need a name this time. I want to say thank you, too, because we're pull at home. Just in case I don't get to say thank you. You may call me the Emperor. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of Mind Slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free, and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. I didn't realize mind flayers could be independent thinkers. Not all mind flayers are alike. I have always valued freedom above all else in my past life and present. It has been a burning need within me for as long as I can remember. Uh. We're gonna... That Githyanki in the sphere, who is it? Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire Oh my goodness! Ago. A power she passed on to him that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlakith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlakith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. 
Uh, was it you or Orpheus that Blackith wanted to kill when she ordered us inside the prism? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blackith will be finished. Were you a prisoner? Were you imprisoned here too? No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside and found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. What happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, you would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. Uh, the more you talk, the less you seem like a mind player. I'm nothing like you. Okay, hold on. Is this, is this a... F that, that looks like a flirt line. Lily! Lily, you cannot flirt! The more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind flare. I appreciate that, but this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You, too, should embrace this change. What? Uh, I, I... I'm trying to avoid becoming a Mind Flayer. I thought you agreed to protect me and I wouldn't have to be... I am not becoming a Mind Flayer. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent Alithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. Uh, it, it, it... If you can evolve me, why can't you stop Ceramorphosis altogether? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an Alithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? No, 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 no. I'm good. I appreciate the offer, but no. Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with the lithid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? This isn't I what I want. I felt that. It's your nature. 
You cannot fight it, so embrace it. What is that? What is that, it Lily? It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Okay. Um, here we go. Here, what is it? A tadpole. Yeah, I know that. Nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane. Cocooned here for millennia. It has become extraordinary. Uh, no. No, no, no. Oh, we need a tour. Oh, Lily, good job. Good job. Lily, Lily, I am so proud of you right now. A wave of disappointment, stronger than any you've ever felt. And then, stillness. You've resisted your lithid instincts. For now. You are not ready yet. Keep hold of it, then, until you are. It has enough vitality to further your evolution and your allies. Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain and bring it under our control. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pre pretty much. Pretty much this is this is this is something. There is nothing further I can do for you right now. Consider using my gift. Okay. And what happens if we don't? Like this is the <sighs> No, so we saved, right? I just, I, w I want to know, y'all. I want to know. The orb hums with cerebral magic, permeable but impenetrable. Within it, the Githyanki prince is as silent as a corpse, but for the murmur of his powers being siphoned away. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's leave. Um, and never come back and figure out what to do next. Okay, good. Good. Mm hmm Yep. So, do we talk to everybody again or actually try to get sleep this time? Because I don't know about you, but I could do for a good night. Well, let's see if Shadowheart has anything to say. And then we'll, we'll go from there. 